Yes, hello YouTube. Hello, hello. Twitch has been targeting VTubers and it's disgusting. It truly is. I really am trying to be in good faith, right? I really am trying to be in good faith and I really want to give Twitch the benefit of the doubt. But the more time passes, the more VTubers are just getting shit on by Twitch. I uh, just... Like, the more shit comes out, the harder it says that, v uh, like, that Twitch isn't targeting VTubers, so... Hey, yeah. what's up, guys? Up here. Let's so today we're going to be looking at another example of Twitch unfairly enforcing its rules on VTubers. Mm. This time we're going to see the second ban that Fallen me, Shadow me, has me, received me, on Twitch. Here. Now, we live in a time where, ironically, Iron Mouse is once again the most subscribed yep. to Twitch streamer in the world, and yet... Mainly thanks to the Sabaton, but yes, still huge. Twitch and its staff huge. still has an issue with VTubers, especially when it comes to the enforcement of their terms of service. We have people who are face cameras who are openly violating rules left and right, essentially creating soft core poontang on the website, <laughs> and they're plastered and shared on the front page, and yet, when they get banned for the 12th uh, or 13th time, they get unbanned within a day. However, yeah. with VTubers, they make the smallest mistake or sometimes no mistake at all, and they have the whole book thrown at them. And Fallen Shadow is an example of that. Like I said, second ban. She already has been banned once this year, back in July, right before oh. her birthday stream. So she was prepping up for a pretty big event. It was a birthday stream. She'd been hyping up for some time. And on that day, just hours before the stream was supposed to start, you can see she was promoting it. And then hours after that, and just before the start of the stream, she was banned Yay! for the first time ever on Twitch. And she has been streaming for years. So the timing of this was very suspect to begin with. And the reasoning for it is completely ridiculous. They claimed that she was making sexual content. If you're familiar with Shondo's content at all, you know she doesn't do that. And on top of that, they came up with this crazy reasoning saying this alleged sexual behavior was coupled with the fact that her VTuber avatar looked like a minor, which is crazy because number one, it's not real. And also it's based on her own <sighs> real life self. So calling that a child That's is actually kind of ridiculous. offensive in this context yeah. and not just stupid. But on top of that, she would get unbanned, right? And she'd go back to streaming. And then the next ban would come. This was two days ago. She was banned in a much more serious fashion this time. She found this out through this post, by the way. Not through Twitch, not oh, through yeah. notifications. I, I through seen this that, that she found it specific that. post that's from a so bot bad. account on, on Twitter. Like, that's how crazy this is. But here's her statement and her reaction right after finding out. She said, hey, at Twitch, at Twitch support. What the heck, man? Woke up to being banned, found out through a Twitter bot because I have received no email about it. Never mind why. Is drinking on stream against TOS now? Or is it just against the made-up second set of rules that my partner manager admitted moderation has for me that I'm not allowed to see or hear about, by the way? Yeah, uh, bro. Imagine admitting to her that there's a second set of rules, but she ain't allowed to see them. This is wrong on so many levels. This is multiple levels of being just wrong. Way because I am a petite woman with a high soft voice using a VTuber model that reflects me IRL. So, do I at least get to know why I'm banned this time? For how long? Because nobody has told me anything, and this is starting to feel very much like bullying. I don't think it's fair that one rogue admin who hates VTubers gets to play with my career like this. I'm legally disabled and I support six vulnerable family members through streaming, and someone who just doesn't like VTubers gets to keep hurting me and others with no explanation, logic, or reason. While we all know this is a site full of naked women on the front page. Okay. And I want to go to the front page right now. I'm daring. Just to be fair, I have not ever seen naked women on the front page. Me personally. Have you guys seen quote-unquote naked women on the front page? Try and cut me to mode? This is front page promotion, though. This is front page promotion. I'm talking about the carousel. This is the front page. Many times, no. 
But here I got VTubers. I also haven't seen naked women on the front page of Twitch, unfortunately. <laughs> I have some pretty sus content on the front page. Not 100% naked, but 90%. Jesus. That's bad. Okay, I will go... Um, Control shift T? No, wait. Control shift N. Why doesn't that one work? Why doesn't that one work? Okay, we'll do incognito mode on Chrome. Control shift N on onto Twitch. Um, no, it's just a bunch of League of Legends. <laughs> now it's a bunch of League of Legends. Holy shit, so much League of Legends. Uh, 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 no naked women, though. No naked women. No naked women. What if I go into just chatting? By the way, just so you guys can see that, um... I am, in fact, not lying. Here we are in the incognito mode. See, incognito, right there. And here, just a bunch of League of Legends. So much League of Legends. League of Legends, League of Legends, League of Legends. Chatting IRL streams. Just chatting. Das ist angesagt. So, trending. No naked women. No naked women. No naked women. But, alas... Let me go into the just chatting category. Just chatting. Mm -mm -mm. A lot of women, but alas, all of them are fully clothed. That's crazy. Alas, all of these ladies are fully clothed. If Twitch could get tax exemption or somehow not get in trouble, they would made 18 plus version years ago, but that's too much effort and besides 13 year olds wanna coom. What? Has Twitch changed? <laughs> I don't that's know. That's the thing that really frustrates people. It's like the, the nerve of Twitch to not only just ban her out of nowhere and take away her livelihood, but also to not even give you a notification or a reason as to why. It is ridiculous. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the hypocrisy that of how they ridiculous. treat people like Fallen Shadow versus cam streamers is ridiculous. But eventually... But it, it is also true, though, that a lot of cam streamers, like as Rev has said, it, a lot of cam streamers that do, like, play with the line, with that thin as fucking line of Twitch and their rules and their TOS, they do get banned for like two weeks it says and then they unbanned within a day uh, yeah, anyway for some fucker reason man the double standards man the fucking double standards uh people would check out the vod i personally checked out the vod before it was deleted obviously but i i went through she had been drinking she was clearly yeah, emotional and upset about too. a few things and i had heard i didn't hear this personally but some people said that at some point Two weeks, more like two days. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, they get the initial ban for longer and then they're unbanned after a day or two anyway. That's what I mean. Point, she made a joke about Minecrafting herself. A clear joke not meant to be taken seriously, but that seems like it's Ow. the reasoning that Twitch used to ban her this time when eventually, after she raised enough attention on Twitter, Twitch would provide an explanation and a duration of her ban. So, carefully listen to this and the audacity of Twitch in this message. Hello, Fallen Shadow. We've received your content and we're concerned about you. If you're currently struggling or feeling unsafe, please reach out for help, talk to someone you trust, contact your doctor, or go to the hospital. In accordance with our community guidelines and to protect our community, we've removed this content. Uh, Self-harm type uh, thoughts, I can't really say too much on YouTube, it's just the way the thing is, but they're saying that stuff is not allowed on Twitch. Please read the guidelines. And as a breach of our community guidelines, we've suspended your account temporarily 30 days and know that you're valued as a part of the Twitch days. community. 30 days is ridiculous. You want to know why, chat? 
You wanna know why? Uh, I've shared this before and a lot of you guys have already seen uh, Thor's clip on this. Should I just pull up the Thor clip? Thor can explain the shit better than I can. I will pull up the Thor clip. Which one was it? The resubs. Yes, it's the resub. The resub subs are your biggest income on Twitch. Uh, Thor resub free vacation Twitch ban something something like this. Uh, wait, a pirate software. We're gonna watch this one soon. Okay, frick. Pirate software Twitch bans. Twitch bans, here it is. When you have subs, those here. subs auto-renew. If that auto-renew yes. lands on a day in which you're banned, they stop auto-renewing. A three-day ban, you lose 10% of your subscribers. It is a massive goddamn deal. There is no such thing as a three-day vacation on Twitch. So when you get a seven-day ban, that is 25% of your subs. When you get a 30-day ban, it is 100%. And you have to build Gun. all of that back up. It is one of the Gun. most devastating things that can happen to you as a streamer. So when you see these bans and you think like, oh, it's just a vacation. No, that shit hurts. That shit hurts hard. When you have subs, this is why a 30-day ban is such a huge deal. Depending on what day a mini sub, you could lose more than that. But yeah, if you get a 30-day ban, all of the auto renewals are gone. Low volume next time he has way too booming of a voice, I'm sorry. Yeah, isn't that nice then? They say right here in the first sentence, we're concerned about you. And oh. then a few lines down, they say, we're ripping away your livelihood. And then they say the next sentence that you're a valued part of the Twitch community. Yeah, I'm sure that'll help. If you come across someone who is uh, in not a good mental state, I'm sure ripping away their main platform and source of income will, will benefit them, right? You. That's just ridiculous. And a lot of people are really upset about this. And here's some of the reactions from the VTubing scene. This was the first Yo, five Atlanta. comments I saw and just so happens to be five VTubers I have a lot of respect for. So let's hear what they have to say. So here you have Bow the Whale saying, let me get this straight. Twitch's favorite gamers can say, game end yourself, but somehow bringing up mental health in any capacity during a drinking stream warrants a 30-day suspension. Twitch is never beating the we hate VTubers allegations. And then Pippa says, someone at Twitch seems to ha actually have it out for you at this point. And Smug Alana says, Twitch is so dog shit at their job. And rule regulation, it's actually impressive, bro. Sayu says, uh, this really is so crazy. sad to see. I'm so sorry. You have to struggle through all this extra that you don't deserve. I get that a platform would want to point out any self-harm, but I doubt you were saying anything to that level while drinking. So did they even watch your stream? Huh? Nope. And then Vivi down here says, I can't believe this. This is not uh, a kind or helpful thing for Twitch to do uh, for someone if they're worried about their mental health. This is your livelihood. You support six family members. I hate that this is happening to you. This isn't right. You know what's also ridiculous? Someone must have fucking reported her stream for it to happen. Because Twitch just doesn't auto ban shit. Auto bans just. I have never seen an auto ban happening. I've never heard of an auto ban. You know, where something specific is said and you get auto banned from that? No. Someone must have actively fucking reported it to Twitch. For her to get banned. Or like a Twitch, uh, like one of the Twitch members that does have it out for VTubers accidentally was watching her stream and got across it and was like, hmm, Ben. Sad part is this will most likely never get fixed. Yeah. Since technically Twitch. Uh, technically speaking, Twitch has no competitor when it comes to streaming. Yep, yep, yep. She has a lot of haters for no reason at all. We love hate watches! Yay, hate watches! Yay! You're still a view, bitch. Fuck hate watches, man, though. Fuck them.
And of course, in situations like this, like many others, people use this opportunity to try to justify and bootlick Twitch's decision because they don't like Fallen Shadow for a set of reasons, whether it's she's a VTuber or she's a lolly VTuber or they're pearl clutching over some of her jokes. And it's a bunch of people seeking attention and celebrating the draconian enforcement of their Draconian rules because they don't like Fallen okay. Shadow or something about her, like the fact that she's a VTuber. And as always, these people want attention and they will not receive any attention, at least in this video, they'll have to go somewhere else to get that attention they're so desperate for, but that did happen. But anyways, as she points but out I've in this, this tweet, one. there's definitely something funny. going on with Twitch in this that situation, really okay? Funny. It's clearly <laughs> something it's to do with the staff. There's at least <laughs> one person or a group of people who have it out for Fallen Shadow and other VTubers on the platform as well, and they're doing everything in their power to try to make their lives just a little bit harder. All I'm gonna say, though, all I'm gonna say in this regard, uh, I had contact to um, two Twitch employees directly. I was in a call with one of them anyway. And two, I contacted, like, directly through email. Like, they reached out to me. Those two were really, really friendly and supportive and, like, told me things I could do to, like, help increase my reach. So there are people at Twitch that do support VTubers. But unfortunately, there's also some that do hate the VTubers. But I just wanted to say that it's not, like, the entirety of Twitch that is hating VTubers. VTubers. I, I, I just wanted that to be said. That it's not 100% of Twitch. Just wanted to let y'all know. And with Shondo, I think it's very clear that's the case. Okay, the, the birthday stream, the first ban what, is what really told me this is something personal and someone who just doesn't like her specifically because there's no way after streaming for years without ever getting banned, she would get her first ban just before her special birthday stream. There's no way that timing is a coincidence. It was very targeted and planned from the start. But time would go on, and about a day into the ban, she was still not hearing she, anything further from Twitch. She did and she was still active unbanned, on her alt account here making this tweet. If I had a nickel for every time I was banned on Twitch and Mr. Trump is shot at, I would have two nickels, which isn't a lot, no! but it's weird it happened twice where someone would react saying this. Sorry, is this how I found out? There was a second potential Trump assassination. <laughs> But eventually, about a day and a half after the ban announcement, she was finally unbanned from Twitch, which is the good ending. She'd be celebrating this on Twitter. And then she would also get an email shortly after, further explaining what was going oh on. Oh my with god, the yes, this is ridiculous. Like, Twitch is like, so we are right, but you know, we're gonna, like, look the other way. But we are right. We're right. <laughs> decision and the fact that they accepted her appeal. So read this statement from Twitch. Hello, Fallen Shadow. A member of her team has reviewed your appeal and can confirm that the correct enforcement was issued. However, given the details of your case, we have determined that your appeal can be Dang. accepted. Make sure you stay informed with the TOS. How do you make this shit up? So basically they're saying, yes, you did break the rules, but we're going to allow you to wiggle out of this one, which seems like oh, uh, they so only dumb. reversed their decision due to backlash. 100%. They're basically uh, defiantly 100%. saying, yes, we were right, but we're going to let this go because we're tired of the backlash and people criticizing us. And it's very obvious that's what's happening here. And again, it reminds everyone of the unfair treatment of VTubers where they can basically find any flaw in your stream and try to rip away your livelihood just like that. And in this yep. case, it just proves, again, they can do many different things to enforce their TOS. People say like, oh, well, she broke the TOS. Dude, go into any stream for a few hours and you will find something that you could say, oh, that's a violation of whatever rule in their TOS. And with Fallen Shadow, they're just sitting there true. waiting for any moment, any slip up so they can apply another ban to her account. All, in this case, they did it well, over what you know? was clearly jokes or something she was saying when she was drinking. And it wasn't that serious, but they found an opportunity to once again ban her and they ran with it and only went back on it because they got a bunch of backlash on Twitter. And this is something also that Bao would raise saying, this is such an embarrassing reply from Twitch. It reeks of passive aggressiveness and disrespect towards you. Twitch pretending to have rules and backbone when they bend the rules every day to maintain money by being chatterbait light is just hilarious to me. And on top of that, uh, Shondo would reflect on this whole thing in a long thread. Uh, I'm just going to read a, a small part or summarize a small part because I think it's a very good point. 
she raises the the whole fact that she was only able to get this fixed because she got such an uproar from Twitter. And so many people yep. support her, not just people like users and fans of her channel, but also other uh, people in the scene, other VTubers and content creators. And only then could she get this ban fixed. And looking around at smaller VTubers or smaller content creators, just stuff. there's no way they'd, able, just they'd be able to pull something like this off. And they would just get banned and they would be stuck with it because they wouldn't be able to get as much attention and actually put pressure onto uh, Twitch in this case. And it's it, it should concern you, it should concern everyone. That's why when you see people celebrating stuff like this because they don't like VTubers, they don't like the person who's being targeted, it's so short-sighted, they don't get it at all. And the rules shouldn't be bent or applied in a draconian fashion to punish someone you don't like. You shouldn't be celebrating that. Even when it's someone you don't like or a type of content creator you don't like, when they bend the rules to punish them, you should be upset about that too. But people aren't that, uh, they, they don't have that kind of foresight on Twitter, which is not too surprising. Now, this is where the video was supposed to end. But then, just oh, no. an hour or so before recording oh, no. this, we had some bad news oh, involving the Shoujo Zentreya, who would report on to... She got a warning for showing a One Piece swimsuit, Twitter, apparently. That she has also been hit oh, with a God. rule violation on Twitch, oh receiving my God, a shit, warning I can't. for sexual themes in her content. And she said this in her Does tweet. Does anyone have huh, the image of what I've it been looked on like? Twitch, I've always played by the rules and knew where the lines were. I've never gotten a warning. I had basically the equivalent of a one piece swimsuit for less than five minutes far from the screen. I think something is going on. Yes. She got classified as sexual themes and punished for it and given a warning so next time it happens, She's going to get an actual ban uh, just for wearing a one-piece swimsuit. Meanwhile, there is a hot tub category on Twitch, and they have people like... I'm going to go out and say that there are attire rules now. I'm going to go out and say there are attire rules now. Where if you were to be shown in a swimsuit... You'd have to go into the um, hot tub category. You guys have seen uh, seen Cinder's new uh, bikini model, right? She was in the hot tub category this entire time while she had the bikini outfit on. So I'm gonna go out and say that that might be the reason. Sh sexual themes, though? Maybe... They could have specified this as a tire rules. I don't know if they don't have it properly shown here. Like, if they don't have another category listed in that case, I'm not sure. But I'm just gonna say that that might have been the reason. Not justifying it, just trying to explain it and trying to, like, find the logic in it. completely uh, spreading their cheeks open practically on the front page of the website. But heaven forbid a VTuber wear a one-piece swimsuit while in the background. Like, it's absolutely crazy. And she would continue on saying, now, mind you, this isn't a ban, this isn't a ban but it's a warning. But if I show the swimsuit toggle for even a minute, I will likely be banned. So it's a very weird situation. I was just standing there and talking about a normal topic far from the screen. So in dangerous waters at the moment. Also, I've had that one piece outfit for two plus years and as well as others for longer and never received any warning or such for them. So this is out of nowhere. And uh, so this is out of nowhere is why it's so strange to me. So I'm not sure what's going on at the moment. And again, it just further reflects the. I'm gonna go out again and say for this case and this example, I don't know how often she was using that piece and how often she had showed it, but the attire rules uh, have been solidified properly j just a handful of months ago, definitely this year. So yeah, yeah, the loophole is pools, hot tubs, and beaches category, but that isn't as monetized. Yes. Yes, 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 exactly, exactly. But for 45 seconds, though, that sounds like they really, really, really wanted to ban her. She didn't get banned. She got a warning. She didn't get banned. It was a warning. Yet again, it was a warning for sexual content, which is also like, huh? 
Sludgetripa 22 just Sludge subscribed Reaper, thank for you. two months. Thank you, thank Hi, you. Kitsu. I finished the order for my Kitsu mousepad giveaway. Yo, let's go! Hopefully it's going to arrive soon then. The ridiculous treatment of VTubers on Twitch and the clear disparity of how they, in, they enforce their TOS on VTubers versus that the is traditional also face right. cameras. Yes. And that is also being true at the same that time. They mistreat VTubers on Twitch. At this point, they're just reinforcing it over and over again. And if it can happen that to someone like yes. Shadow yes, yes. or Zentrea, it can happen to anyone. But for now, that's going to do it for this video. As always, feel free to share your thoughts about today's topics in the comments section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Definitely also true. Like, both can be true at the same time, you know what I mean? Uh, but, that's that. Again, 45 seconds showing a bath uh, suit thing. It shouldn't warrant a warning. It should not warrant a warning. It's ridiculous. It is really ridiculous. In that case... In that case, I don't know. I'm taking that sentence back. It's just ridiculous. The enforcement is not done equally. They definitely seem to be having it out for VTubers. It's stupid. I like the sensor bar meta on here. Some of the guys doing it here were actually funny. Have you guys seen Tectone's one on that one? Tectone's one on it was so funny. Looked as if he had a giant as fucking schlong, man. <laughs> exactly that one? Yeah. Hello funny. Hello funny.